Hello, Paul Bowman here. This video is Heavy Feet Part 2. So, what I'm talking about is in your walking gait or in your running gait, landing hard on your heel. So, definitely it's not something you want to do. Most likely, that autonomic, that automatic landing hard in your heel is coming from your hamstrings not decelerating properly. Now, if I was working with you one-on-one, -on -one, we would definitely look at everything from head to toe, nervous system, every, everything to see what's really affecting that in a, a holistic way, true holistic way. That said, uh, without working with you, I would say the best thing, the most likely thing would be to work on those hamstrings, as well as go back and, and see part one if you didn't see part one. So, to really get a great stretch and a great contraction on those hamstrings to rehab that heel strike. So, let's stretch those out. So, let's work on stretching those hamstrings out fully on my left leg. So, my left leg is forward, my knee is straight. I tilt my pelvis forward for a gentle stretch through those hamstrings, never pushing into pain. And nice deep full breaths. Let that hamstring, those hamstring muscles release and breathe and hold that for at least 30 seconds, 30 seconds to two minutes. And then external rotation on the hip. Don't let the pelvis turn, but really externally rotate on the hip. Tilt the pelvis forward and breathe, relax, let that hamstring release for at least 30 seconds, 30 seconds to two minutes. And then internal hip rotation. So again, make sure you didn't turn the pelvis to do it, but really turn the hip in and again, tilt the pelvis forward. 30 seconds to two minutes, breathe, relax, let the hamstrings release. Same thing on the other side. So my right is forward in neutral with my foot straight ahead, tilt the pelvis forward. 30 seconds to two minutes, breathe, relax, let that release. Internal hip rotation, tilt the pelvis forward, 30 seconds to two minutes, breathe, relax, let those hamstring muscles release. External hip rotation, tilt the pelvis forward, 30 seconds to two minutes, breathe, relax, let those hamstrings release. After you've fully stretched out those hamstrings, we want to contract them fully in every way that they contract. So I'm gonna hold on to the wall, working my left hamstrings, lift that foot. My belly's in and my knees pushed back, opening up the front of the hip. Keep that and relax, foot to your butt. Really work in those hamstrings. If you're not absolutely positive what's going on, check. Are you really fully engaging all those hamstrings? And I would go uh, count down from 10 to one and a little more, a little more each time of contraction. And by the time you get to one, have that fully contracted as tight as you can, short of pain, short of cramping. So really contract that as tight as you can. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. Belly's in knees pushed back so that the front of the hip is open. Keep that. Relax, foot to your butt best you can and gradually over 10 seconds, contract more, 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 more by the time you get to 10 seconds. Everything and check if you're not really positive, hey, check. And if, uh, if it's not contracting fully or you're not aware, having your hands on there will help you get that mind-body connection and, and help you contract that the way it should. Okay. So that was with hips in neutral. So you also want to do that with external hip rotation. So externally rotate the hips. Don't let the pelvis turn, but really open up the hip. Externally rotate the hip. Keep the belly in. Drive the knee back as much as you can. Hold that and relax foot to your butt using those hamstrings. And same idea, over 10 seconds, contract tighter, 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 shorter cramping, shorter pain, but to contract every muscle in your hamstrings as tight as it can. 
uh, other side, so work on your right side. Keep the pelvis square, but externally rotate the hip as much as you can. Belly in, drive the knee back, opening up the front of the hip. Relax, foot to your butt, push it, push it, push it, working those hamstrings. So over 10 seconds, tighter, 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 as tight as you can by the time you get to the 10. Shake them all. All right, so we did in neutral, we did with external rotation. Now we also want to work those hamstrings in internal rotation. So, belly in, externally rotate. Sorry, that's internally rotate. Draw the knee back as far as you can. Keep the belly in, keep the knee back, keep the internal hip rotation and relaxed foot to your butt. Push it, push it, push it. Ten, over 10 seconds, more, 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 more. By the time you get to 10 seconds, every muscle in there is tight as you can. All right, other side. Belly in, knee back, internally rotate the hip. Don't let the pelvis go, but try to get that as best you can out of the hip. Relax, foot to your butt. Keep the belly in, keep the knee pushed back, keep the internal hip rotation, push that foot to your butt. Work those hamstrings, again, over 10 seconds, a little bit more, a little bit more, contract, contract, contract. By the time you get to 10, tight as you can. Shake that off. All right, so, uh, if you're having any trouble with your hamstrings, if you're having trouble with your heel strike, I would short term, I would do that uh, every day. So each one of those three angles, uh, every time stretch them out fully, contract them fully at all three angles. And you could do that daily, uh, short term, long term. I would say you want to do that at least once a week. Okay. If you have any questions, any concerns, leave me a comment.